Welcome to the 12th Android tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we have created uh, that uh, main.xml file and created IDs for uh, those uh, controls which were created in the main.xml file, okay? And also we have accessed those uh, controls in uh, this uh, startup.java application, okay? So right now, we need to uh, handle the event that was generated by this submit button, okay? First of all, we need to register the submit button with uh, the type of the event that was being uh, generated by the button, okay? So this is the uh, same uh, procedure that we are uh, followed in uh, our uh, Java applications uh, in uh, Swings and both in uh, AWT, okay? So here, uh, in this application, uh, under uh, onCreate uh, method, okay? Under onCreate method, I am going for a submit dot, okay? Set on click listener. This is the method, okay? So this method is used to set a click listener, okay? So whenever we click on that button, it has to, it will generate what actually on click uh, event, okay? So we need to handle this uh, event right now okay so first of all uh, after the after this one uh, what happens so it was going to uh, implement on click listener to your uh, class okay so when we are implementing this on click listener to our uh, application startup what happens we need to override the methods that are present in the in where actually on click listener okay so that's what actually the rule of uh, interfaces whenever we are uh, implementing the interface we must override all the methods which were uh, defined under uh, that interface okay so here we need to go for uh, add uh, unimplemented methods okay it has only one method that method is called uh, on click okay so it is nothing but our view over here okay here what happens uh, on click view v okay so this v is nothing but an object of view which will be having uh, an information about the uh, view which was uh, just now clicked okay so the the view which we have clicked what happens that view will be generating uh, some event and that event will be handled using uh, this on click okay on click method okay so here we does not have any too much uh, controls uh, other than a button which will generate uh, some events okay so we'll be having uh, text fields okay edit text and uh, edit text it input and it output but uh, those are not going to generate any event only the button is the control which can generate the event okay so for that purpose i am not uh, going to differentiate uh, the controls over here i can directly give the code over here okay so whenever uh, the on click uh, method uh, calls what happens we need to uh, just uh, simply put some uh, message from input to, to output to text fields okay that's nothing but edit text so here what i can do is uh, et output okay et output dot set text i'm going for the set text okay so here within this uh, set text what i need to do is uh, uh, within a uh, double quote uh, hello space and uh, plus over here okay so et output dot get text okay so i'm going for get text dot to string i'm going for to string and plus over here within double quote and the spell your space over here welcome to android okay so that's it it's nothing but welcome to android Alright, okay. So this is what actually the information, small information which we need to handle whenever this button is clicked. Okay. So what happens? Uh, we have registered this uh, button submit to, to with uh, on click listener, and we are implementing this on click listener. And uh, once we have implemented the interface means we need to override the method. So we are overriding this method over here on click, uh, and that will be having a view. So it will be having information that uh, which view has uh, been clicked. Okay. So and uh, so if uh, the view clicked is something like button so i am not handling the view clicked is supposed to be button or something like other controls okay i am just handling only the on click uh, method i am just going to give this message so whenever this uh, on click button is clicked on type the on click uh, is going to execute this uh, information okay that information is nothing but et output dot set text okay which is nothing but so et output is refers to this uh, second text field over here in this simulator uh that set text hello okay that that's nothing but hello plus uh, et oh, all right okay it's nothing but et output we are given here so it's not et output it's et input okay it's et input it's 
ET input or get text whatever the data that was given over here or a name or data anything so that name will comes to this text bit to this uh, edit text after hello message and after that uh, we are uh, put some uh, message something like welcome to and add after uh, okay so after this uh, message okay so each message will be coming in a single line okay so this is what actually the output of uh, this application so we can run this application right now so run it this right and run it we are going to see this output uh, Alright, we got uh, here. Uh, I can put uh, my name here. I am going for a submit. Alright, okay. So it was uh, given something like hello, Emma, welcome to Android. Okay, which was given here. Okay, ET output dot set text is called hello, and uh, the text from uh, ET input to edit text, and plus uh, welcome to Android. Okay, that's what happening in this uh, emulator right now in our application. Okay, if I suppose to give something like uh, I have this uh, made empty this one. You can submit, so there is nothing. Hello, welcome to Android. Okay, if I put something like uh, some name, I'm gonna go for submit. So this is the output of this uh, application. Okay, so this is what actually the edit text uh, button and uh, text view. Okay, so the text view is nothing but this one. Okay, so the entire URL this is called a text view. It cannot be changed over here. So you can edit text in uh, under the edit text, and uh, button is going to handle some event. And uh, when a button uh, handles some event, what happens? Uh, so you'll be having uh, some messages, something like uh, these messages within this uh, text field. Alright. So over here, uh, this arm click uh, is going to execute when this uh, button is clicked. Okay. So this is your startup dot Java application. Okay. So this is the very first application in uh, this tutorial so far. So we can discuss with more application in the next upcoming tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.